Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tyler Gibson Superstar Mode. In the last episode, we lost in the playoffs to the Dolphins, and the Bengals defeated the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. So we're moving on to year number three, and we're moving on to staff week. I, last offseason, there was basically nothing for us to do. I imagine it's going to be more of the same. So I will see you guys when something pops up. You know what, now that I think about it, we did hit level 25, and we do have five skill points to spend. Where should we spend those? So I'm thinking maybe this, we put put one into, or I guess two skill points rather, into short throw accuracy to get it to 90, two into medium to get it to 87, and then one into break sack to bring that up to a 78. This feels pretty good. Yeah, let's do this. All right, so I messed around with the ability slots. We have two gold ability slots now, but no gold abilities yet. My X Factor ability is Bazooka, so we can throw by 15 additional yards, which essentially just increases Tyler's arm strength with actually having to increase his arm strength. We've got arm talent passes with this ability have increased velocity on bullet passes and have faster passing animations. This one I feel like has helped us out a ton ever since we got it. Short Deadeye is now up to silver. Passers with this ability are no worse than accurate on all short throws while their feet are set, not under pressure. In our silver ability slot, we have mid Deadeye. Passers with this ability are no worse than slightly inaccurate on all medium throws while their feet are set, not under pressure. And finally, Pressure Cooker. Passers with this ability have faster passing animations when they are throwing under pressure. Tyler is up to an 83 overall heading into season number three. We are on to the preseason. We do have a final brand deal on the table, but I do want to look around the league, kind of see what happened in the off season. By the way, Tyler does have two years remaining on his contract. So this year and next year, and you can't request a trade in this. So for at least two more seasons, unless the Raiders decide to trade us themselves, we will be stuck on this Vegas Raiders team. Let's take a look at this Raiders depth chart, shall we? Jimmy G is still here. He has the mentor tag, which is probably boosting Tyler. And he's a 71 overall Tyler, all the way up to an 83. Josh Jacobs is still here, still a 99 overall. Eric Gray is a 73 overall. And Floyd Hazelwood is a 70. And Zamir White is still on the team at a 73. Devontae Adams has regressed a little bit further. I think he was a 98 season one. He was like a 95 last year. Now he's down to a 93. So he's he's getting older. He's getting slower. He's still an elite wide receiver, but maybe not quite as elite as before. And we do not have Hunter Renfro anymore. Kobe Myers is wide receiver two and no Hunter Renfro. Trey Tucker is wide receiver three now. Tight end is Michael Mayer. He is an 82 overall. I can't see his development trade. I assume it's at least star. You'd be able to see if it's superstar. So I believe it is star. Currently no backup tight end on the roster as our backup tight end is listed as left tackle Devonte Walden. Our left tackle is still Colton Miller, still incredibly injury prone, I'm sure. Left guard is still Dylan Parham. Thayer Munford is listed as the center. He's a right tackle. This roster is very strange. Chris Cordova is the right guard. Mac McNeil, who was a rookie last year, is the right tackle. Taquan Graham is the left end. Jimmy Hadley, the right. Neil Farrell Jr. is the D-tackle. He's the only D-tackle on the roster, apparently. Max Crosby is up to a 99 overall. Middle linebacker is Amari Bernie. Dante Rambo, a great name. Tyree Wilson is the right outside linebacker. He's up to an 80 overall. Corner, our defense is not good other than Max Crosby. Don Woods is CB1. Our CB3 is a 66, and then CB4 is a 63. I'm assuming they'll sign some people before the actual regular season. Free safety is Christopher Smith, a 68 overall, and our strong safety is Terrell Edmonds, an 80 overall. Kicker is still Daniel Carlson, and punter is still AJ Cole. I am kind of curious who retired, so we'll look at that. Patrick Peterson, Cam Hayward, Bobby Wagner, Demario Davis, Cameron Jordan, Morgan Moses, a lot of big names here have retired. Jacoby Brissett retires, center Justin Britt has retired, Taylor Lewan has retired, Raheem Must, I almost called him Raheem Mustard, Raheem Mostert has retired, Teron Armstead has retired, Greg Zerline, Russell. So Wilson finally retires. Von Miller finally retires. Stephon Gilmore has retired. Bradley Roby has retired. Justin Houston. These are all guys that were free agents anyway, but some big names. Nick Foles has retired. Joe Flacco. The end of an era. Chris Harris Jr. has retired. 
Let's look around the NFL, see what names are where. Justin Jefferson is still with the Vikings. Micah Parsons is a Patriot. That's interesting. Nick Bosa is a Packer. Joe Burrow is a Titan. Justin Simmons is on the Chiefs. Really betrayed the Broncos there. Chris Jones is on the Lions. Creed Humphrey on the Cowboys. Devontae Smith is a Patriot. Justin Herbert is on the Buccaneers. Amari Cooper is back with the Cowboys. Boys. I almost went past this one because obviously I've seen him as a cowboy before, left for the Browns, and now is back for his age 31 season. Brandon Ayuk is on the Rams, staying in the division but swapping teams. Palanoa Hufunga is on the Cowboys. Brees Hall is a Buccaneer. The Buccaneers are good. But anyway, let's see what this brand deal is all about. Hey, Cap, just wanted to let you know you continue to be one of the most in demand athletes I've ever represented. Jordan Brand reached out and would like to strike up a partnership with you. What do you say? Didn't, dude, I signed with Jordan at the beginning of season two. I swear to God, genuinely, I think that that already happened. I think that word for word, that one already happened. And you know what? Screw it. We are skipping the preseason and its rewards. We're going to the regular season. We're getting it underway in this episode. Welcome to season number three. Let's take a look at the team schedule this season. We start off with the Colts and the Chiefs. That'll be the first episode, obviously this episode. Then we play the Texans, the Titans, the Cowboys, Broncos, bye week, week seven, Eagles, Broncos again, Commanders, Bills, Vikings, Chargers, Jags, Bengals, Chargers, Giants, Chiefs. At least they ended the season with a divisional matchup, which is much more interesting than last season when it was not divisional for the final two weeks. Anyway, I'll get through these activities and we'll get started here in season number three. Oh, we signed Tutu Atwell. So Tutu Atwell is now the wide receiver three. So it's Devontae, Jacoby, and Tutu Atwell. I'm actually okay with that. Michael Mayer is the starting tight end, and then it's Trevon Wesco and Kahale Waring. Is that how you say that? Kahale? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Well, in all honesty, I think that the team got quite a bit worse this season, but not a whole lot we can do about that. Let's set our season mission. Let's go. I mean, we did both of these last year already. Is there one, is there a different one? No, it's touchdowns or yards. I think we're more likely to guarantee 4,000 yards than we are the touchdowns, but we, we easily killed both of these last season in the MVP season, so I am comfortable committing for 4,000. From this point on, I would hope Tyler is a perennial MVP candidate. For this game, in week one against the Colts, we have plus four throw act mid, plus three speed, and plus two awareness. Of course, clean slate around the board. We're in Indy to start the season no home game to start the regular season this year NFL kickoff we've of course got Anthony Richardson and Tyler Gibson in the same draft class and now franchise quarterbacks for their respective teams what can they accomplish here in week number one Tyler Gibson's attire is entirely the same except for the elbow band on his right on his throwing arm is white when he's on the away team as Michael Mayer immediately injured first play of the regular season I really hope that's not serious Michael Mayer of course my favorite red zone threat with him gone I mean Devontae Adams is probably still my favorite red zone threat but he's my second favorite for sure those two had a ton of touchdowns last season we'll see if he comes back for now it's Wesco and Waring who are in the game both under 70 overall Gonna look to throw to the right side. It's knocked away. I think that was Jacoby Myers I threw to. Fourth down. We will punt it away. Max Crosby, our best defensive player, has a fractured toe and is out two weeks. And Michael Mayer has an abdominal tear. And with that being TBD, it's gonna be several weeks at least. Oh, that freaking sucks. We're without our best defensive player and one of our best offensive weapons. But we'll work with what we've got. This is a throw to Jacoby Myers. Outruns everyone down to the 15. The first completion on the season for Tyler Gibson goes for 31 yards. Well, hopefully nobody else important gets injured as we need all hands on deck. I imagine nearly every game is going to be an absolute shootout this season as that is a dot from Tyler Gibson. Perfectly in the window for Devontae Adams. The first touchdown pass of the season. And the Raiders will take a 6 to nothing lead here early in week one. You know, I wasn't even paying attention. I'm not sure how we ended up with the ball where we had the ball when we had it with Tyler last time. I know we obviously made that one play. Tyler just pancaked somebody. Hello? You guys see that? Look at Tyler. Bang! Oh my, oh my hell. So our starting tight end 
for at least the rest of this game, and I would assume a couple weeks, is this Trevon Wesco guy. And I'm going to throw it to him. He holds on. It's going to be third and one. I think I'm going to trust Josh to get the first down on the ground here. Third and one from the 28 handoff. Josh Jacobs, and he's got it. He's got it easily. Tyler just pancaked somebody again, I think. Bang! Oh my god, he did. <laughs> Tyler is angry about the playoff loss in last episode. Just laying people out without even looking. First and 10 from the 32. We're going to look to throw. Jacoby Myers is wide open up the seam. And that is a completion to him. The goal this season is zero interceptions. I think that's every quarterback's goal when the season has just started. Hand off Josh Jacobs. Can't throw picks if you only run the ball. Oh, good. Josh Jacobs is injured. I didn't want my offensive weapons, really. It's okay. Now, Eric Gray is in the backfield, and he, of course, holds the NFL record for rushing yards in a single game. And nobody can take that away from him. Third and five from the 38. I'm going to go a screen here to Gray. I don't know how well it'll work. Follow your blockers, buddy. He's got the first. Easy peasy. Moving on. Six for seven for Tyler Gibson. All right, it's tight end attack as our OC always calls around this area of the field, but it's without Michael Mayer, who I think is the one who truly makes tight end attack work. I guess not, as Trevon Wesco makes the catch and is up to the five. A good pickup for the backup tight end. First and goal from the five, looking to throw, maybe rolling, maybe running. Yeah, it's a free rushing touchdown for Tyler Gibson. And it's more points on the board for the Raiders. Champ's belt is the celebration. It's a stupid one. I need to get better celebrations. The celebrations Tyler has are awful. Josh Jacobs has broken his ribs again and will miss at least four weeks, I think is what it was last time. Oh my God. Three, I, three of our best players are injured right off the rib. Well, that means it's time for some Eric Gray action from the 25. We'll go to him. The single game rushing yard record holder does nothing. That makes it second and 11. We're going to look to throw here. Tyler dumping it off to Eric Gray gets a pickup of about seven. And it'll be third and four. Third and four from the 31. Can we convert? That's the goal. Who is that? Whoever that tight end is, is so slow. It's Wesco, bro. His speed is a 76. Oh my God, kill me with Michael Mayer out. I don't know, I'm sure you guys saw it. Look at this man. Why is he, why is he so slow? <laughs> bro is running through mud. Well, that's not ideal to not have Michael Mayer. I am a known Michael Mayer lover. This is a handoff to Eric Gray. He's got a good carry, a great carry even, past midfield. Down at the 48 in Colt territory. First and 10 from the 48. Tutu Atwell is in the game. You can see him there on the right, or the left rather. I don't know my directions. It's going to be a throw for Devante. He holds on. And he's to the 33. He better not be injured, I swear to God. We must protect Devante Adams at all cost. Because that would be all three of my favorite weapons injured. If Jacobs, Devante and Mayer are all out. What do you know, we're inside the 30 and the offensive coordinator is calling tight end attack, as he always does. We're actually just gonna dump it off to Eric Gray in this situation, get the free first down, 11 for 12, 146 for Tyler Gibson. Picking up right where he left off on the MVP campaign. We'll go play action here. And oh my God, is that Nick Bodden? I don't think it is. I don't know who that fullback is. Nick Bodden's gone, but it's a completion to them for no gain. So this is a route where frequently Michael Mayer would be wide open in the end zone, and that is not the case here. Tyler gets sacked. Third and 22. Holy cow. I'll be honest, I didn't even see the blitzer. I think the camera did that thing where it didn't zoom out again, although I can't remember. It was only one play ago. I literally cannot remember. Tyler throwing out of a sack again. Fourth and 22, and I think we're probably just settling for a Daniel Carlson field goal. Two minutes left to play. Colts unable to add points. It is 17 to 7. See if the Raiders can get down the field, add some more points to the board. This is going to be inaccurate from Tyler in the direction of, I think that was 2 2 Atwell. That makes it second and 10. Tyler's still the good completion percentage so far today. Can't complain too much about that. That was going to be a terrible throw. What if we just take a shot for Devontae Adams here on third down? What if we what if we run, actually? This is a first down and a lot more for Tyler Gibson to the 37. They just left so much space. 
so much space. I think they forgot that Tyler Gibson has 90 speed because he was so much of a pocket passer last season. Throw a deep shot for Devontae Adams. He makes the catch and he punches it in. Devontae Adams touchdown. Just throw it up. Give him a chance. He may be getting a little old. He may be regressing, but he has still got it. And a touchdown pass, a great throw from Tyler Gibson. Sees the Raiders add more points heading into halftime. It's 24 to 7, and it's not even halftime yet. We have 37 seconds to try to drive down the field and get yet another field goal. And we'll throw this for, I think it's 2-2 at, well, he makes the catch. Hurry it up, hurry it up, hurry it up. Almost just need to get this out of bounds. I'm leading it that way, and it is out of reach for 2-2 at, well. Six seconds left from the 36. I imagine they pull us off and kick a field goal with Carlson. But we got the one big gain, and I think we're going to add three more points before the half. Daniel Carlson either didn't attempt or missed that field goal attempt. So it's 24 to 14. The Colts did go down and score a touchdown immediately after the halftime break. And so here we are in the third quarter with a 10-point lead and a throw to Jacoby Myers. Sees him picking up about 18 yards. It'll be first down. From the 43 on first and 10, we'll hand it off to Eric Gray. And he runs backwards for a minute and picks up two yards. Congrats. Second and eight. We're going play action. And I'm going to roll here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run, actually, again. And it's a first down for Tyler Gibson. It really wasn't anything I liked open. To be fair, though, I was not looking deep down the field. So if one of the guys down the field was open, I, I would have totally missed it. Jacoby Myers, take a deep shot. Knocked away. Dang it. It was worth an attempt. That makes it second and 10 from the 45. And we'll hit Jacoby Myers again. And he holds on. It's going to be third and inches. Zamir White has entered the game. Haven't seen him since season one. I don't even know if he was on the team last season. Third and inches. We'll hand it off to the big fella. Up the gut. Breaks it to the outside. Has a first down and a bit more. Tyler just pancakes somebody again. And what do you know? We're inside the 30, so the OC calls tight end attack. It's like clockwork. And we'll hit Wesco. He holds on. Brought down at the 8. First and goal Raiders. From the 8, looking to throw. Rolling, throwing for Devontae Adams. Touchdown Raiders. And it's just that simple for us offensively. I think this season is going to be much more about if the defense is putting us in bad spots because the offense can clearly do stuff like this and this is with michael mayer and josh jacobs out it's 31 to 14 the raiders have taken over from the colts 49 as they either had a bad punt or a turnover and we're going read option here tyler on the keeper stiff arms that man nope just kidding gain of one fantastic looks like they're sending a safety blitz but we're running it to the opposite side Hand it off to Eric Gray. Doesn't get crazy far, but it does make it a pretty manageable third and five. Third and five from the 44. Gibson takes a snap, looks to throw, hits Devontae Adams. I don't think he's getting the first. Yeah, he was met way too quickly. It's fourth and two. I doubt we attempt a field goal here, to be honest. Well, we're not attempting a field goal because the offensive coordinator wants us to go for it. Like I said, guys, I just pick the middle coach suggestion like 90% of the time. And in this case, it was to go for it, and we did just that. And Tyler Gibson runs for first down nearly to the end of the third quarter. First and 10 from the 32. We'll hand it off up the gut. Eric Gray has a good carry, a pickup of seven. It's the end of the third quarter, and it is all Raiders. 261 air yards, 108 rushing yards, and it is just easy peasy. Second and three from the 25. Play action. We're going to look to throw. We'll hit Devontae Adams on the comeback, and he catches it and holds on. I never throw those routes. Devontae Adams is our lord and savior, especially in the red zone. We'll see what he can do this time. I'm going to roll to the right with Tyler. I'm going to take off to run, and it's a small gain down at the four. Second and goal from the four. I'm actually, the look to run to this left side looks really good. Can I switch it to the left? I cannot. So, we'll hand it off right side. Eric Gray punches it in. Touchdown again for the Raiders. And Eric Gray, although a massive downgrade in terms of overall, does not feel like a downgrade when he's actually in the game. He plays mostly the same. And, of course, had that one game last season where he absolutely destroyed the single game rushing record. 
Still 38 to 14, eight and a half minutes left to play here in the fourth quarter. The Colts unable to add more points. So now we are just trying to kill clock, a pickup of two for Eric Gray. From the 34, Gray still in the game. We'll hand it off to him again. Goes absolutely nowhere, and it is third down. I am gonna look to throw here, because obviously a conversion would be ideal. So we're going play action. And nobody's really open down the field. A loss of a yard for Tyler, but that's all right. We'll just punt it away anyway. The Colts once again do absolutely nothing. In fact, they may have turned it over because we're starting with the ball from midfield. Six and a half minutes left to play. It's handoff Eric Gray on first and 10. Goes absolutely nowhere. So on second and 10, I'm going to go play action. It's a fake to Gray. Rolling, rolling, running, fumbling. It goes out of bounds. Holy cow. I, I could have thrown it to Devontae. There was a guy lurking there. I don't know. I could have obviously dumped it off to Eric Gray as well. It, I just held the ball too long. I could have run. Like, I, I hesitated on, like, every option. And it came back to bite me, shockingly. This is knocked out of Devontae Adams' hands. It's 4th and 12, and we'll probably punt it away again. Well, the Colts added some points. It's 38-22 with two minutes left to play in the game. Hand it off to Eric Gray. It goes nowhere. Holy cow, this running game is bad. 2nd and 11. This is really just to get us to the two-minute warning. We'll just hit the fullback, get the completion, get some yards. They do call a timeout, actually. Third and four. A first down here is almost needed. Hit Devontae Adams. He's wide open. Makes the grab. Goes out of bounds. Two-minute warning comes and goes. First down Raiders. And that pretty much all but seals it. I mean, it was basically sealed anyway. We are up by 16, which is only two possessions. But that is a lot in the final two minutes. They burn their last timeout. One first down seals the game as a victory for the Raiders. Hand off to Eric Gray. Can he get that first down? He's just short. It's an empty set for Tyler. Third and inches. Throw it for Wesco. Doesn't punch it in. He's down at the one. I'll probably just take a couple knees. I could run up the score. I mean, it's a CPU, right? They don't have feelings. Let's run up the score a little bit. Tyler rolling, rolling. Can he get the edge? Yes, he can. Touchdown, Tyler Gibson. Touchdown, Raiders. That is extremely toxic as I could have just run the clock down. But run up the score a little bit. Tyler on the MVP path early on in season number three. Somehow our defense scored again even after that because the final score ended up being 52 to 22. It was 38 to 22 when we could have just taken knees. We scored a touchdown, and then I think that Anthony Richardson must have thrown a pick six because the defense ended up with another score. Final score is 52 22, and we'll take a look at the stats in just a moment. As always, prepare yourself for some locker room talk. Let's take a look at the box score and the player stats. Tyler Gibson with a 149.5 passer rating, 337 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Took four sacks, though. Oof. 23 of 29, 79% completion percentage. That is what I'm talking about. Anthony Richardson was terrible. 285 yards, one touchdown, three interceptions, including, I think, one pick six. And did have 60% completion percentage, which isn't bad, considering how bad the rest of the game was. On the ground, Jonathan Taylor led the way with 90 rushing yards. Tyler Gibson had 57 on eight attempts. Eric Gray had 47. AR had 18. Jacobs, before leaving, had 17. And Zamir White, on his one carry, had seven. Receiving Devontae Adams. Adams, seven for 113 and three touchdowns. I had three passing touchdowns. All of them were to Devontae Adams. Josh Downs, 10 for 100. Kobe Myers was pretty involved. Four catches for 84. Rivon Wesco, of course, replacing Michael Mayer, six for 72. Alan Lazard is on the Colts, seven for 61. Dalton Schultz is on the Colts, four for 45. Tutu Atwell only had one catch. Jerry Judy is on the Colts, four for 33. That is so random. Well, that brings us to week two. The Raiders are one and oh and we will get through these activities and get on to the second game of the episode so for this next game against the chiefs we have plus two awareness plus two juke and plus two speed we are one and oh the chiefs are one and oh this is definitely going to be the battle for the afc west this season i would assume as the chargers and broncos are both already oh and one so josh jacobs with broken ribs will miss four weeks Max Crosby will miss one more week with a broken toe, and then Michael Mayer with his abdominal tear will miss three weeks. So we're already very injured with three very important pieces of the team. All right, let's get into game day, our home debut against the Chiefs. 
It is Sunday night football here at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. We've got a player spotlight. It's probably Tyler. Oh, it's Devontae. Seven receptions, 113 yards, and three touchdowns last week. Going to have a killer year if those stats continue. And it honestly helps him that Hunter Renfro is gone and we're very injured. His only other competition was Michael Mayer, and he's injured for at least the next three weeks. The Raiders will start with the ball, first and 10 from the 25. Eric Gray in the backfield, of course, and it's gonna be a carry to him on the first play of the day. It's a pickup of four. This makes it second down and six from the 29. So we'll throw quickly, knocked away. What a play from whoever that was. I don't even know. I'm gonna run a screen for Eric Gray. I don't know if it'll pick up six, but we'll give it a shot. Eric Gray on the completion. Gets a good block, and somebody missed the second one. It's a pickup of three, and I am guessing we're punting it away. Chiefs add seven. Of course, the Raiders won the division last season, but the Chiefs kind of had the last laugh as they won in the wild card round where the Raiders lost. First and ten handoff, Eric Gray. Pick up a five. Second and five from the 30. We're going to look to throw here. I may look to run, actually. Jacoby is so open. Oh, Tyler. Under pressure on the run. I guess I can understand why that's inaccurate. Third down now for the Raiders. And we're going to see a little bit of warring here. The new tight end. We're not going to see a little bit of anyone, actually. Tyler's one for four so far on the day. Falls incomplete. It's fourth down. It's already 14-0 for the Chiefs. We're going to need to start moving the ball here, Tyler. Takes the snap, looks to throw. Devontae open across the middle, holds on to this first down Raiders. You know, I was just thinking about this. We're making Josh McDaniels look like a competent coach by Tyler playing so well and carrying this team. Throw for Jacoby Myers. Makes the grab, but it's knocked out by Justin Simmons. Justin Simmons, obviously a name I am familiar with if you... Haven't seen my Broncos franchise rebuild. That is my rebuild team this year. Justin Simmons, obviously a part of that. Holy cow, that was horrific from Tyler. So depending on what happens, Eric Gray could be open. It looks like he has safety help over the top, actually. Man, the coverage was just good. Hmm. Fourth and 10. Offense is not clicking. Well, we get the ball back at our own 31. It looks like it might be a double safety blitz, which has me tempted to send some people deep. Like Devontae in particular. Throw a deep ball for him. It's accurate. It's knocked out. Oh my God, that was a dot from Tyler. Well, second and 10. You know, what What can you do? There's not much you can do. So I'm gonna run here. Nobody is getting open. Well, at least on the routes I'm looking for. First and 10 from the 42 after the Tyler Gibson run. Gonna look for Devontae to the left. Knocked out of his hands again. The coverage downfield has honestly been immaculate from the Chiefs so far today. I'm gonna look to throw again on play action. Devontae bumped his guy. Well, I'll just dump it off to the tight end, I guess. It's a pickup of four, better than nothing. Third down and six. I really would love to score on this drive to get the game a little bit closer. So, third down, I'm throwing again. Waiting, waiting, hitting the tight end. Can he get the first? I think he's, oh, they called him forward progress, first and 10, I thought he was short. They can't run the ball, but does it really matter when your quarterback's name is Patrick Mahomes? Not even Tyler Gibson can compare. First and 10, looking to throw across the middle. I think that's 2-2 Atwell, makes the catch. Pick up a five. Second and five from the 42. Ten and a half minutes left to play here in the first half. Looking to throw. Try to hit Devontae on the edge. Makes the grab. First down Raiders. I wish Tyler had this level of accuracy in season one when Devontae was like actually a 99 overall. As we try to throw for the tight end and it's inaccurate from Tyler. Also, we're inside the 30. So the offensive coordinator is only calling tight end attack. That's just how it goes. There's so much open space here to the left. I know that Wesco was open, but Tyler's been kind of bad today, so maybe do it a little more on the ground. Third and one, I'm going read option. I'm guessing the read is going to be for Tyler. It is, so hand it off to Gray. Could have cut it back up the middle and gotten the first down for free, but instead runs it to the outside, and it's a loss of one. Fourth and two will probably kick a field goal. They went for a fake field goal. It worked. It's first and 10 Raiders. From the 13. I wish I could show you guys these plays. They go for fakes so frequently. 
And I just cannot see them. I'm going to change the play to tight end attack myself. First and 10. Looking to throw. Rolling. Why are these guys so fast? I have 90 speed. Tyler Gibson breakaway speed. Touchdown Raiders. There we go, Tyler. That's what I'm talking about. You don't have to do it with your arm all the time. Sometimes you can do it with your legs. His 90 speed and these guys are keeping up with him. Like, who who's 97? Why is he that fast? Well, the Chiefs add three. So it's 17 to 7 in favor of Kansas City. Throwing for Devontae here. He's got the reception and a first down. First and 10 from the 39. A little over four and a half minutes left to play in the half. Handoff of Eric Gray. Oh my God. Four rushes, nine yards. Averaging about two yards a carry right now. Second and 10. We're going to look to throw. We're going to hit Devontae on the run. Makes the grab. They were in zone coverage. It's third and inches. On third down from the 49. Need to convert here. It's a big blitz. Just hit Eric Gray quickly. They missed the tackle. And it's first down for the Raiders. Tyler back up to 50% completion on the day. Three minutes in the first half. First and 10. Let's play action again. Dump it off to Eric Gray. I probably could have thrown for Devontae, but the zone that they were in, I think, probably would have seen that be picked off. Set it to pick up a four for Gray. I'm going to look to throw here again on second and six. See what the defense does for Devontae Adams. Knocked away. Dang it. Third and six. I am really missing Michael Mayer. Because on this route, he would be so open. And I just think Wesco's going to be way too slow. I'm running with Tyler. I got the first. Let's go. Oh, my God. It's so stressful. First and 10 from the 30. Looks like they are in zone coverage after the Devontae Adams motion. Eric Gray is just open there on the side. I unfortunately threw it too late, so it leads him out of bounds. Second and four. On second down from the 24. Looking to throw with Tyler. We'll hit, I think that's Warring, the third string tight end. I'd almost prefer if he was in the game just because he has the same speed as Michael Mayer. I obviously have no say on the order of the depth chart, though. I'm going to roll here. I'm going to try to hit Devontae. He makes the grab and goes out of bounds. Stays on his feet. Good stuff, Devontae Adam. That makes it. Second and two from the five. Going to look to throw. I'm going to run this up the gut, actually. Tyler Gibson punches it into the end zone. Second rushing touchdown on the day for QB number one. As Wow, look at number 39. I say QB one like fantasy is QB one, I would assume. Well, we have the ball back. There's 55 seconds left in the first half. It's first and 10 from our own six. We could get down the field and score some more points, potentially. Dump it off to Eric Gray. We're going to hurry it up here because the clock is still rolling after that. Calling, I think this is literally the exact same play. I did not mean to throw to Devontae, but it actually worked out great. And we're going to burn one of those first two timeouts. First and 10 from the 33. Probably looking for 2-2 Atwell on this throw. That was a holding. 2-2 is open, actually. Make the grab. He stepped out with his foot. I mean, Tyler left him out of, or led him out of bounds, but I still feel like he should be catching that. Second and 10. I mean, it did work. So the OC called the same play again and is just like, Tyler, please don't screw this up. Throwing for 2-2 Atwell. It's picked off. Oh, it was underthrown. And probably a bad decision to bullet pass that, I think, was my mistake. He had a step. If that's a touch pass, I just don't think it gets to him before he's out of bounds. So I try to bullet, and Justin Simmons obviously is a fantastic safety. He's in the 90 overall for a reason. It's 20 to 14 here in the third quarter after Tyler's pick. Going to look for Jacoby Myers on this throw. He makes the grab, and he's up to the 44. Fresh set of downs and already 30 plus yards passing on the drive for Tyler. I bring that up because that was the challenge for the drive was to have a 30 plus yard completion. Did it in one play. So that is fantastic. Raiders looking to take the lead on this drive, hopefully. Try to hit Devontae Adams. Makes the grab. Goes down quickly. A pickup of five. They have Leighton Vander Esch on this defense, I just realized. Also, they have Devon A-Chain as their running back offensively. Second and five from the 39. Handoff to Eric Gray. Third and in inches. I've not been running the ball a ton. It hasn't been super successful when we do try to run. But we probably need to stop being so one-dimensional. I think I'm going to run here with Tyler. And I will. Gets pushed out of bounds at the 20. Welcome to the red zone, Raiders. First and 10 from the 20. We're going play action again. 
And I'm going to run again, I think. That was probably a mistake. Pickup of three. Eh, I mean, it was going to be the same if we checked it down. See, in this situation, I want to give the ball to Eric Gray, but they have eight in the box, and that makes me want to throw it. Even though there is no blitz here knocked away, and the camera, once again, did not zoom out. Third and seven. Taking the snap. Looking to throw. Hits Jacoby Myers. He catches the ball, and he punches it in. How did he manage that? Got knocked around and found his way into the end zone. Throws the football off of Devontae Adams' helmet. What in the world happened? I tried to lead him back inside to lead away from the linebacker. Gets pushed left and then gets pushed forwards. And it's a touchdown for the Raiders. Okay, I'll take it. That should be the lead. It's 21 to 20 and our defense made a goal line stop. So we will start from the two. Hand it off to Zamir White who goes basically nowhere. A pickup of one. I'm going to run this stick play and possibly just plan to run it to the left depending on what Justin Simmons is doing. He is sticking around. They're in a zone, but it's enough space to run for Tyler. And he's got a first down up to the 16 and much safer than the two. All right, let's try to get the running game back involved. I mean, it just has not been working great so far today. But I don't want to give up on it, especially if we're going into the fourth quarter with a lead. We'll need to be able to run the ball. That's a pickup of four for Eric Gray. On second and six, we're going to go back to Gray. And he's got one whole yard. Fantastic. Third and five, end of the third quarter. Third and five from the 21. Looking to throw. They are sending a little bit of a blitz. Ain't no way Tyler makes that throw. And Jacoby Myers comes down with it. That was insane. It was red in accuracy, but like, look at that from Tyler Gibson. That is insane. Well, after the absolutely absurd throw from Tyler Gibson... It is first and 10 from the 34. We're going back to the run game yet again. Eric Gray, do me proud. Three yards is not exactly something that will do me proud. Three yards is not terrible either, though. I mean, like that, there are worse yards to get. I'm actually going to switch to play action here. They've got a loaded box again. They do send a little bit of a blitz. Just hit Eric Gray quickly. Can't quite get to the edge, but reaches the ball across the line and has a first down. That makes it first and ten. They really love to load this, like, front box. It's, they've got eight there again. I'm going to throw it to the third string tight end, and he breaks away from Justin Simmons and gets to the 34. The Raiders moving offensively right now. From the 34, we're going back to the run. Just try to kill some of this clock, and that is a fantastic blitz. A pickup of one. Running game just not working today, like at all, no matter what we try. Second and nine, I'm going to look to throw. I'm going to hit 2-2 two -two Atwell. He's got good speed. I think he has the first down at the 24. Oh, what's that? We're inside the 30, so the offensive coordinator has called tight end attack. Never heard of that play before. And Wesco is just wide open. Goes down at the two, first and goal Raiders. I used to hate that play. It is absolutely money. No wonder the OC calls it literally every time we're inside the 30. Throw it quickly, Tyler. No. Oh, the fullback was wide open. I could have pressed it a little sooner, I think. Well, it's now second and goal from the 10. That's a really unfortunate sack. We're going to look to throw again. Hit Devontae Adams. Got that behind the linebacker somehow. It's now third and goal from the 1. From under center, we're planning to run it with Eric Gray. Third and goal from the one. Eric Gray up the gut. Touchdown, Raiders. We extend the lead. With the six, we're already up by seven. Does it make sense to go for two here mathematically? I think it probably does. We do not go for two. We get the one extra point. Chiefs go down, and they tie it up. A minute left to play. It is 28 to 28. It was never going to be easy against the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, it is Patrick Mahomes after all. First and 10 from the 23. I'm gonna look to throw. I'm gonna try to hit Devontae Adams with a touch pass. It's knocked away. Second and 10, second down. Do you think 2-2 Atwell just gets open down the field? I don't think so. Try to hit Devontae Adams, hope he holds on. He does! Let's go, Devontae, breaking hella tackles. We'll call our first time out. Devontae Adams just wants it more than everyone else. I mean, what can I say? First and 10 from the 46. Go and play action. We're going to take a sack. Hurry it up, hurry it up, hurry it up. 
24 seconds. I probably should have burned another timeout. Looking to throw. Looking to run, maybe. We are running. And I'm going to go out of bounds at the 46, third and two. We just have to get in field goal range. So it's not like we need anything crazy here. I kind of want to send Devontae on a slant to get him more inside. Juju Atwell is so open. He dropped it. Do they, do they keep us on the field on fourth and two? What's going to happen here? They don't. Do they attempt this field goal? I don't know what they do. Two, two, ah, well, you got to hold on to that, man. What do they do? Fourth and two. They punt it. We're into overtime. Chiefs start with the ball. Uh-oh. Oh, no. A chain, six-yard rush. Two-yard rush. It's third and two. Get a stop. Come on, defense. Six-yard rush. They're just going to run all over us with A chain. That's what the Dolphins did. Seven-yard rush by Mahomes. Second and three. 14-yard reception for Rasheed Rice. They're going to get into the end zone. Rasheed Rice, eight-yard reception, two-yard rush for A-chain. It's third and inches. Come on, defense. They're without Max Crosby. Six-yard reception for Irv Smith. Four-yard run for A-chain. They're at the 21, second and six. Five-yard penalty against the defense. Fantastic. Pass knocked away. Good stuff. Four-yard rush for A-chain. First and 10 from the 11. Practically goal to go. Six-yard rush. They're at the five. Zero-yard rush for Carlos Baker. I think they scored. No, man. 2-2 two, two Atwell just has to catch that one ball and also why doesn't josh mcdaniels let us go for it on fourth and two why do we punt it there i have no control over any of that oh my god that's a loss for the raiders that sucks so bad that game i feel like was mismanaged and also tyler threw a pick which always hurts Go ahead and finish the game. As always, prepare yourselves for locker room talk. I do want to mention, I think it was probably worthwhile to go for the two point conversion when we scored the last touchdown to be up 27 to zero because the one point conversion obviously, obviously yeah, makes it a one possession game. No conversion, it's still a one possession game. We're still up seven. A two point conversion, we're up nine. Like, I, I don't know. I just don't really see the harm in going for two in that situation. But of course we couldn't. And then with 12 seconds left on the clock, fourth and two from the Chiefs, like 46, they don't let us go for it there either. And we're just playing for overtime. And then we give Patrick Mahomes the ball and they just score on in overtime and we lose by six. It's just, I don't know. I think that that was mismanaged by the CPU. Nothing I can do about that. Tyler wasn't super great today. 83 rating, 297, a touchdown, a pick. 62% completion percentage. Patrick Mahomes, 334, four touchdowns, no picks, but a worse completion percentage. On the ground, Tyler had 95, eight chain 73, Mahomes 54, Eric Gray, 2.4 a carry, 10 attempts, 24 yards is actually horrendous. Rashi Rice, 8 for 157 and a score. Devontae Adams, 9 for 124, but no touchdowns. Irv Smith Jr., 7 for 74, two touchdowns. Jacoby Myers, 3 for 62 and a touchdown. DPJ apparently is on the Chiefs. Also, I mean, we can obviously call out the fact that Tutu Atwell couldn't hold on to the ball when being tackled. And we would have been easily in field goal range with a fresh set of downs had he just hold on to that ball. It's a good throw from Tyler. No reason he can't hold on to it. Took a hit, I guess, hey, yo, but should have held on to it for sure. We'll go ahead and advance the week. It was definitely my bad on that interception, though. Mac Jones is on the Jets. But anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you do find yourself coming back on the regular and you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that sub button for me. It does help me out a lot. I'm trying to hit 500 by the end of the year. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode where the one and one Raiders will look to improve to two and one and then three and one against the Texans and then the Titans.